Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel too, and want to hit the subscribe button, that'll help me out immensely. In this video, we will be installing one of the most fun and maybe the second or even first beneficial part on the Mark II. I wanted to do at least one more fun mod to the Mark II before we start investing and putting money back into the Skyline. I want to get the Skyline running as soon as possible. So for that, I'm either rebuilding my RB20 or building a bulletproof RB25 Series 2 or potentially an RB with a 2H stroker. So without further ado, let me welcome you guys the last major mod to the Mar 2 series before we pause and focus on the Skyline. Diamond, what do you think of the Tome exhaust? So here she is everybody, the last fun mod for the Mark II. We went with, of course, a very obnoxious, but very high quality exhaust. What do you think about it? It's nice. It is very nice. Tome exhaust, full titanium, accommodating from the turbo back is this Kurtz Jay-Z dump pipe. The flange accommodates for the Tome flange. Of course, comes with a new gasket, all the hardware instructions this silencer we got the muffler hanger and also some good clamps and a plethora of stickers i'm really excited to experience all the benefits from going to a stock exhaust to the tome titanium exhaust in terms of benefits we'll be one shedding a lot of weight the stock x100 exhaust system weighs almost 45 pounds and the tome piping here altogether weigh give or take 15 pounds so that's quite a bit of weight also a huge increase in performance it's pretty much straight pipe from the treble back the dump pipe goes from a four inch to a three and a half to a three and the full tome system is a three inch that means much better exhaust flow more boost and faster spool time i also can't wait to hear this thing on the one jz I've seen a couple videos of 1JZs with this exhaust, but I know videos don't really do justice, but in person, this thing is just going to sound crazy. You can't beat that exhaust note on a straight six. The Skyline has a Tome. My brother's 350Z has a Tome. And now my JZX100 Mark II Tour V is getting a titanium exhaust system, and I'm incredibly stoked. So like I mentioned in the past couple of clips, the stock exhaust system is super restrictive. I mean, look how big that muffler is. This thing has not one, but two resonators. And I believe the gaskets in between all the piping are shot. And this thing is just crusty. Now for some YouTube magic. Mark two on jack stands. Got some adequate room underneath here. So what makes it easy for us is the dump pipe has already been swapped out to an aftermarket one. So we got these two rusty bolts here. And then we just have to take out this exhaust stand right there and then one for the muffler. Yeah. So your best friend in removing those exhaust hangers that are 25 plus years old is this exhaust removal tool. I got off Amazon. I do not have the link, but that is the brand there if it'll focus for I anything mean, like 15 or 20 bucks but worked wonders and of course how can i forget the stock exhaust note oh what the heck's going on there yeah, my dangus Step one, got done, disconnected the cat back system to this aftermarket dump pipe. For me, it was two 14 millimeter bolts. And then now we have to focus on getting the other two that connect to the aftermarket elbow pipe, which I'm hoping would be 14. Don't forget about the exhaust cat sensor here. This just measures the temperature of the cat. And then we got the exhaust hangers to remove. Come here, girl. Woo! 
hell yeah, bro. So big old muffler, vibrator. Whoa, I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> One resonator, second resonator. And then here's like, it measures the exhaust flow for the cat. Or is it, no, no, wait, no, that would be post cat because this is cat. So this, I believe this measures the exhaust temperature, but that should be okay. I made sure I didn't damage the wire, so I'll just tuck it up nicely, but yeah, 45 pounds. Okay, so I got the downpipe off. This is aftermarket, I want to say, and it's also for sale. I mean, it's, it's just a piece of pipe, so shoot me an offer in the comments below or via Instagram. So I just removed the O2 sensor and it was two 12 millimeter bolts. Also did go ahead and order a new one of these a couple of hours ago. I am going to remove the J pipe because I believe the heat shields are in the way of the bolts I need to get to the turbo. I also went ahead and ordered a whole new turbo OEM gasket kit. So, I mean, might as well since everything's off and I do plan on dealing this car, we might as well get it as brand new as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making excellent progress. Like I mentioned in the last clip, just going to be taking all the turbo parts and accessories out. Got the air filter out, the J pipe, helpful tip also so you don't lose bolts, just put them back in their respective position location so you don't lose them. It's just a surplus of 14s and 10s. Very easy to take this off, just take your time. Stock research valve is off, inspected the hose, the hoses are good. I'm gonna get a new hose for here so I can just put it back to stock location. Um, whatever you wanna call this little elbow piece, pop that off. And like I mentioned in the last clip, I did order a brand new Toyota OEM 1JZ GT VVTI turbo gasket kit, which should be arriving next week because these are like brittle and again, they're. 25 years old. Now coming to the most interesting part is the turbo manifold and turbo itself. I didn't really know, or yeah, I never knew how restrictive the turbo manifolds are on the 1JZ like. This is hella restrictive and while I'm here, I might as well just buy a new <laughs> top mount turbo manifold, am I right? Nah, just kidding. We gotta take care of the Skyline first. But turbo seems to be in good shape. Again, the um, gaskets are pretty much shot. Um, I'm, I am probably going to remove the turbo so I can replace the gasket that's between the turbo and the manifold. In terms of play for the turbine wheel, um, I can't move it left and right, but I can move it like forward and back a little bit. So I don't know if that's too, if that's concerning or not, but I mean, it's, it's running great, like honestly. And then behind here, we have full access to all the bolts from the turbo to the stock elbow dump pipe. Um, these were pretty loose too. I don't know if that's really concerning or not, or just probably age. That's why I smelled all those like exhaust gases and emissions, but so far everything is good. Just going to take off the elbow now and then wait until we get that new turbo gasket and then start reassembling everything. Kind of tempted to buy a J-Pipe delete kit while we wait for all the new parts to come in, but we'll see. About half of the day later, I finally, finally got the turbo elbow off. It was such a pain in the ass to take off, like literally got so stressed out. But all the bolts sit in PB Blaster, which was easy. Accessing four of the five bolts was easy. Just taking off the J-Pipe and the heat shields gives you full access from up top and with like an extendable ratchet and a 14 mil, you can get a lot of leverage. But this bolt right here that was just in the darkest and tightest of crevices was just such a pain in the ass and the whole bolt came out too, not just the nut. It took me literally like four, almost five hours. My best friend was this flex head ratchet wrench. God bless for this tool, 14 millimeter, just, just do your best if you're doing this job. Take your time and I mean, the best angles to get it are like straight above and a little crevice on the driver's side as well. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out, but yeah, turbo elbow is finally out. I did order a new O2 sensor as well and I don't know if this is a gasket or not, but if I need to order a new one, I will. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna wait till all the gaskets show up. 
I did loosen all the bolts to the turbo manifold and the turbo as well. So once the new parts come in, we'll just swap everything out real quick and start reassembling the new dump pipe and Tome cat back. We are back with brand new OEM manifold and turbo gaskets. I ordered this kit when all I really needed was this piece, but it does come with like a plethora of OEM gaskets for the um, turbo elbow there and the turbo inlet. And we also got some new manifold gaskets. Here's the part number. And these are the ones I pulled off the 1JZ. They're in decent shape, I would say. Again, probably 25 years old, wouldn't hurt to replace them. Now I can finally bolt back the manifold, torque everything down to spec, and throw on the new dump pipe and install the Tomei exhaust. Just got done installing the Kurtz Jay-Z dump pipe and it fits amazing. It's like OEM plus, honestly. Clears literally everything, no obstructions. Clears that steering column there effortlessly. And also getting to the bolts to the turbo is much more simplified. And in terms of torque specs to the turbo, I just set these boys at 30 pounds. So next what I'm gonna do is triple check my work because I don't wanna have to take this turbo out because still getting to that bolt on the bottom left of the turbo is just a pain in the butt. So double check my work there, double check all the torque specs to the manifold and the turbo to the manifold and then start reassembling the heat shield and the J-pipe setup and then I'll continue with the Tome exhaust install. Ladies and gentlemen, just finished up the whole exhaust system, triple checked every single bolt and made sure every single bolt on the turbo and turbo manifold down by all the accessories were torqued down to spec with new gaskets, so feeling really good about that. I know you guys can't see too well, but we got the downpipe, the Tome titanium mid pipes, all the clamps torqued down to 25 Newton meters, which is around 18, 19 foot pounds of torque. And then we come to the cream of the crop, the Tomei muffler. This thing is nuts. I cannot wait to start it up tomorrow. It is the next day. It is Friday. It has been such a great day. It is daytime and I am so stoked to finally be able to start the Mark II. So what you heard in the video was just absolutely insane. I don't think the camera really does too much justice sound wise, but it is definitely louder than I anticipated it. But to be expected from videos I've seen with the similar dump pipe and Tome cat back. And plus I'm in my garage too where it echoes a lot. So I'm sure out in the open world on the road, it'll sound a little bit different. And once we get a couple heat cycles through it, I'm sure the tone of the exhaust will change but solid exhaust, solid install, new hardware, new gaskets, new exhaust. The old one had some like rust spots in it, so it leaked a little bit. But now the Mark II doesn't smell as emissions-y as it did with the sock pipe, so incredibly happy about that. So again, like the benefits, faster spool time, it is so much more responsive. I cannot wait to drive the Mark II once I fix all the leaks for its maiden voyage. Exhaust is, significantly lighter probably the full exhaust now weighs i would say 18 maybe 19 pounds with the dump pipe but it sounds sick it looks good and you cannot beat that jdm kick so again really really content with the install and if you guys have any questions about the install feel free to shoot me a message on instagram but other than that guys that is all i have for you in this video i just got noticed that my Toyota OEM timing kit for the 1JZ GTE BBTI has shipped out of Japan. 
So that should be here within the next two weeks or so. It said next Friday, so cross my fingers it's next Friday. And again, we'll just pull the radiator again, drain all the fluids, drain all the oil, take the cover off, pretty much take the whole front of the motor off, have new belts, new cam seals, new front main seal, new water pump, new belts, new, new a lot of stuff. And I'm thinking too of just buying a higher capacity alternator while I'm there and doing some more cleaning. And also the beginning of November, my friend Rick is going to come over. I got a engine stand for my buddy Beric and we're going to suspend the motor, pop off the lower and top oil pans and reseal them to ensure that this thing doesn't have crazy oil leaks, hence the reason why I don't drive it because I really don't want to risk it, losing oil pressure and grenading my 1JZ. But other than that guys, successful day. Thank you so much for the continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel too and want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch next video. Take care.